What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Burning Godzilla, right? So this is like normal Godzilla with wings, and then you add red color, basically. You kind of make it look like lava or something. So, let's see. Yeah, so it's like all your, if you were coloring, right? So like all your lines, your drawn lines seem to become red and stuff. Like the gaps in between all his armor is like red. It's kind of cool. And then he has flames for wings, basically. So let's go, right? I'm on a landscape page. Use pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Right. So. I start with his head. Okay, so center point of my page is about here. We'll come up over to the left hand side and we'll go Yeah, we'll zoom in and start with his eye. Okay, so he's got like a real small eye. Like a lemon sort of shape here. And a sort of a line just there. So then around that we got like some eyelid lines, some wrinkles and stuff. Come around his eye. And then kind of like a frowning sort of Headline just here. So this whole section is like all dark and stuff inside. But we'll just add texture inside. There. Now, so on top of this sort of frown sort of area that goes around his head, you might have like some wrinkles and stuff. And eventually it could become spikes back here. Seems like it really does become spikes back here. Might as well draw them. Just these sort of spikes that eventually run down his neck. Okay, so this is like his frown forehead area. So then he has those sort of gills. Would you call them gills that come around like his face? Go back up towards these spikes here. From the side of his nose a little bit here. Right, like that. So then his nose kind of go like with the front here. Got this square sort of nose thing going on. Around like that. And then he's got a nostril here. Some texture around that. And his other nostril kind of comes in this way. Right, so then his from his snout we have his top lip and it's kind of like this wrinkly bumpy sort of thing comes around here that comes up towards the back of his head here we have this wrinkle stuff like so and then on top so we got like a top lip line wrinkles then and we basically have teeth coming down 
they're relatively small. He's got, he's got a big one like underneath his eye, like down from his eye, there's like one here hanging down. Like so, and then his chin just here. Right, and then you can't really see his bottom teeth, right? So I'm just gonna like draw a shadow inside here. So I'm darkening up the gaps between the teeth just to make it look like his mouth is kind of open a little bit. So you can just see some teeth there and then it goes, runs up this way. And then his chin kind of comes down here, joins his neck and his jaw and goes around. This can be kind of a scaly, bumpy line as well. And then you'll add sort of his bottom lip kind of area, wrinkles and stuff. Bumpy as you'd like now. Right, so then his neckline, so he's got that armor on the front of his neck, right, which is all like fire basically. Like the front of his neck here, and this armor that comes down this way. Right, and then the back of his neck is like up here, and it's got all these spikes on it. The back of your neck runs off that way, right? And the top of his head, right? So we've got like the other side of his frown, and sort of his head running back here. Right, kind of like that. And so then the rest of his neck, so he's got these gills, and these are these are all glowing red on the inside. Right, and then armor sort of coming down here. Right, that's the shape for his neck. And then he's got so all these armor lines and if you're coloring this you know trying to get the glowing section you want to these lines are kind of red right you kind of got to change all your or color them all sort of glowing yellow and orange right and then like there's all wrinkles and texture and stuff on these lighter sort of lines basically kind of you're thinking sort of turtle shell sort of stuff right and on the gills the lines will go this way they go vertical okay He's got, so gills on this side, how many is there? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a fifth, just a smaller one here, right? And then more down this side, one, two, three, four, five. So like another one, say here, it's kind of wrinkly and bigger on this side. One can go again. One, two, three, four, 
and a smaller fifth one down here. All right, and these have all these vertical lines. Texture. Right, and then again, so you'll have wrinkles all coming across here as well. So, like running across the neck and down around it as well underneath. There's another line of horns coming down from his jaw here, so spikes kind of. You do these kind of. You do a kind of a spike like that, like a V, and then you do a line down the middle, where it makes it look a little bit 3D. So you go V, and then line, see that? And eventually these will run off sort of the back of his neck, sort of, so you'll have like a big one here. This one down here as well. And keep them wrinkly. It's just adding all that texture there and then down. So he he should have, you can't see them in the picture, right? And I don't know if they photoshopped it out on purpose, but in the picture, you know, he doesn't have any of those spikes, basically. It's just the wings. But I'm going to add those coral reef like spikes that he should have, right? So this kind of thing. It goes behind some flame here, right? So there's like flame wing here. And this has sort of texture all up around there. And they get kind of smaller as you go down. But they tend to kind of disappear then around the back of his neck here. And we'll just add a few. They're not in the picture, but I think he should have them. Maybe they just wanted to edit it out because there was all the flame. So he's got so he's got flame that comes off his shoulder here. Right? So you'll just add these sort of flame-like spikes, right? That come come off his shoulder. So this is all flame, right? And then on this side. So you can just see one coming off his shoulder that way. And then make more. It's starting to go off the shoulder that way. But we'll add his anatomy in the shoulder and stuff first. So shoulder comes out here, seems to be more. sort of flame or something here. Right. So his shoulders are quite wide, wide. So like a shoulder here and here. So this is like the central line for his body, right? So his neck comes around there and like the center line. So he's got these turtle shells it will be helpful just so we can see where the center line is. There, right? And this is like abs, right? So might as well draw them in. These lines would be glowing yellow. Like so. And then the 
build some texture on these. So then like his collarbones and stuff come across here. Right, and his chest muscle kind of meets his shoulder muscle sort of here, okay? This is like his chest muscle. His shoulder muscle comes down that way. Right, and then his, you can see like his so shoulder here and then his bicep like there. Tricep out here. Bicep on this side goes out. And the forearm goes off that way. So that's like shoulder muscle, tricep, bicep kind of stuff, right? So his body like goes in there as well. But you could have like some rib lines and things. And his body goes off back towards his tail. So like it's quite wide. So this is like all wrinkle and body. And, his forearm maybe here. That's like his body there. Okay. So then what you got to do is like add all texture and wrinkles. So but like lots of this stuff. So just coming across. All of this will be glowing red. Like so so it's like you're trying to oh the rest of his arm goes down there. And it's all flaming wing on this side, right? So So just keep adding this texture as much as you like. So then, that's, you can add more or less of that. It's kind of up to you. I'm just making him look wrinkly. Right. So then his big wings, right? So the wings are just wings of flame. So you just do your style of fire, sort of. And the way they're done, I'm drawing this from like a 3D model. So it's like... Like this is like the edge of his wing, and then go like off this way. Kind of like here. So this is the more flame sort of coming out from here. Right, and then, so he's kind of on fire, and then he's got like one wing that goes like back this way. It's just like fire and stuff like that. And you could do as much, um, you could do texture on it if you want, or just color it like yellow and stuff. So do as much of that as you'd like. All those lines, and you could do like some free floating sort of embers and stuff. You know, like flame or escaping, like so. And then do some more sort of fire over here. Another wing right at the top of it. Go off my page. A few more room, of course, drawing the full wing. And and then it's like it's, he's like his back is on fire, so it's like. All this stuff is just 
Oh, fire. All right, and then some like flame here. And the other wing, where would it go? So it's like a small wing back here. It's got like a flaming top to it. So this is like the small wing Maybe that goes that way. And then this will go back that way and more texture. And like some free floating fire is always cool. So, so this will all be glowing red and stuff. So add as much texture to that as you want and then color fire colors off for the wings and if you want all of these lines you should be drawn in pencil you could color them orange and red and then sort of black in between for the scales so that's it that's how to draw burning godzilla hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one bye